the furniture has to be moved, but that can't be moved until the floor gets put down. Meanwhile, classrooms are meant to be being picked up and taken, so they should be empty. Where are you putting everything? Um, and I have lists and lists and lists that I went through with that process. Um, how are we moving things? Who's helping move them? When is it all moving and how will people get to it? Uh, when will the containers arrive? Who's filling them? So it's, it's sitting there and thinking, we're moving into the space and on the surface it seems like quite an easy process, but then actually think about what you currently use that space for and where everything will go. Our after school homework club, so our after school care moved off site, that hasn't worked for them. So now we're negotiating with them to be coming back and using one of our classroom spaces after school um, because their numbers were dropping, they, you know, they had a huge number of issues and it, it's for the benefit of our community so now we're problem solving that. So it was just the list of, of things. Where are the sports uniforms going to be so that you can get to them but you don't need them in summer, just in winter for the netball team. Um, and so it, it was just a matter of sitting down and making a list of everything, sending it out to the teachers and saying, what have I missed? What have I forgotten? This is how it's going to work.